Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're gonna to create a button to copy an item using a record set in Microsoft Access. Basically, we're gonna add my copy item button because I like to go to previous days on my food log and click the, you know, click a button to just copy a few things, you know, like my lunch items to today. You go back to a previous day, you find what you like, you click the button and it moves it to today. It's nice and nice and simple. And like I say with every one of these videos, well, almost every one of them, uh, this isn't necessarily just a database about fitness. This is a database about building databases. So lots of cool stuff. All right, you ready? Here we go. All right, today we're gonna be adding in a feature that I put in my own database. Uh, Cause I've been running two separate databases. One that's got all the stuff that we've been putting in it. And I've got one with my data in it. Cause I added a feature a while ago that I mentioned to you guys um, where I can copy an item. So we're gonna add this copy item button today. All right, so design of you and we'll copy this guy, copy paste, copy paste. Someone's got to fix that copy paste bug. All right, copy just the item, copy item. This will be the copy item button. Copy item button. We'll bring that back up. We'll get rid of that. Right click build event. Bring my thingy over here. There it is. Do a little resize. Okay, copy item button. All right. So we'll use a little record set action to just copy the current button over to today. That's the whole point of that is you can go back to a previous one. It'll just copy that item to today. In fact, so there's no confusion. What I'll do here is put a control tip text on this one, right? Copy current item to today, right? And this is copy entire, uh, entire day to another day. All right. Then we can hover over it and it'll tell you which one's which. Okay. Now you could do this with an, a single insert query, but I, whenever I'm dealing with text, I always like using record sets. It's just my preference. So we'll need RS as a record set. We've done a bunch of these already. Uh, first thing, if they're on a blank new record, don't do anything. So if me dot new record, then exit sub, or you could put a message there, a warning of some kind, whatever. Um, then we're going to basically add a new record to the table with the current records details, right? So it's going to be set rs equals current db dot open record set food log t uh, rs dot add new and then rs dot update rs dot close set rs equals nothing and then uh, maybe at the end when you're done give me a beep and then um, we'll decide where to go here because I got a couple options that I put in my database that we'll talk about. So in here is where we add the the uh, the record. Now this is one of those instances where I will use a with rs, just simply because it, it saves you two characters of typing. <laughs> and with. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be user id equals user id. It's going to be food id equals food id. Basically all of the fields from the food log table, right? Food date time equals now we're going to add it to the new to the new record it's going to be adding it to right now because the whole point of this button is it adds it to today's date All right and then food time text equals our function format food log time for right now see so handy we made that function that's why you make functions like that so we don't have to because we would have the same code all throughout our database you don't want to do that make a function return your properly formatted time uh, has eaten equals false. I'm just going down the list of fields, by the way. I have them over on my notepad, but you just quickly go into here, look at your food log, right? Design this guy, just go down this list. It's basically all I'm doing, okay? But I got my handy dandy notepad kicking. Uh, quantity, quanti I can't type today, equals quantity. What's next? Food log notes equals food log notes. Uh, meal description equals meal description and so on. I'm not going to make you sit here watching me type. All right. There's all the rest of them. Okay. And I, and, and I didn't want to type them all. And again, I had them in my notepad. <laughs> so there's all the fields. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's give it a quick test. Save it. Debug compile. Come back here. Let's close it. Open it. 
I'm going to go to a previous record. Let's go to here, Meta Mill, right? I'll hit copy item. Okay, now at this point, it has copied it. So let's go take a look at today. And there it is. That's on today's record. See, if that's all I wanted because I do that a lot. I go back to a previous day and I'm just like, I just want to copy these two or three items. Now, if I'm on a different day, okay, um, I want to just go down the, the food items because I, if I want to copy this whole lunch, I want to go copy, 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 copy. So I'm going to have the cursor move to the next record. So I can just go click, 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 click four times in a row, right? But sometimes I do it on today. Sometimes I want to copy this two or three times. Like if I had a tangerine with lunch and now I have another tangerine at night, I want to just copy tangerine. It's on the same one. So if we're on a different day, then we'll just go to the last record because that's where it's going to be, right? All right, so let's go back here. So here we're going to say if the date value of the log date, that's the date up top, is different from the date value of today, then, right, it's on a different day, move down one record. So we'll say do command dot go to record, comma, comma, AC next. Like I said before, this is fine to use do command go to record. It's a single click. You're just moving down one record. Not a problem. That's what it's for. You don't want to use that for heavy automation or trying to decide what record to go to on a different form. That, for that, we use our bookmark trick. But here, do command go to record works just fine. Otherwise, it's on today, just move to, uh, where do you want to go? The last record. Okay, so let's requery first of all so it shows up, me.requery, and then do command dot go to record, comma, comma, AC last. Uh, and if, and let's move the focus to the food description. So do command dot go to control food description. All right, sound good. Let's put the beep down here instead of up here. And I think that's gonna do it. Let's save it, debug compile. There's once in a while. All right, let's go. Let me close it. Always close your form and reopen it whenever you put any VBA code behind it. Whenever you make any changes. Well, that's I try to. All right, let me get rid of you. All right, let's copy this uh, lunch. Three items. Ready? Copy, copy, copy. Go to today. Look at that. See how nice and easy that is? I do that a lot. Let's copy Let's copy the tangerine. Let's have, say I had another tangerine later in the day. Copy the item. Oh, 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 oh it's so cool. All right, now, I'm always interested in future-proofing my databases. This will have to be updated anytime you add another field to the table, right? You want to add sodium or whatever. So it'd be nice if you could just loop through all the fields and just add whatever's in the table, right? Well, you can. And we'll do that in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all the extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases and get the code vault, which this function is actually in the code vault. And, um, yeah, it's really cool because then you don't got to worry in the future. Okay, I got to add one more field now. I got to I got to put it in the table. I got to add it to all the forms where it needs to be. Got to go through all the code. You know, you could search for one of the old well, old fields and then add it wherever you see it. I'm still finding myself doing that from time to time in my database that I built over the past 20 years or so. But I'm going to show you with one easy call where we could just copy it all. It'll ignore the uh, auto number and just copy all the rest of the fields in the table. And that's what's in today's extended cut. So that's going to do it for your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, 
including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.